Welcome to Just Like Candy with me, Candy. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, guys. So I know the last time y'all saw me, I had, let me make sure my, all right, guys, hey, all right, so we're back. I don't know what happened. Um, I had touched my camera earlier to turn up the volume, and I guess I like turned off the whole camera because I was just rambling on about Nick Cannon and Carrie Hilson and then I, I looked at the little numbers and I noticed it wasn't um, going and I'm like, oh my God, I've been talking this whole time to myself. All right, so let me just pick up from where I was, y'all. So honey, I was giving y'all the tea on Nick Cannon. Um, Nick Cannon is having twins. Um, that'll make six children for him. You know, he has two with Mariah, my girl. He has two with a young lady named Brittany Bell. Very gorgeous. And he's having twins with a young lady named Abby De La Rosa. I guess they dated in the past. I don't know. But she's also a fly little honey. And, um, yeah, so he's having twins. Now, Nick Cannon is not one of my favorite people. Um, And... It, it just developed that way when he opened his mouth. You know, sometimes you can just see people in the cut and you know, you know what, she's cute. I like her. You know, you don't even have to know them or even hear their voice. You just like their their aura, you know, just something about them. And um, you know, I was a big fan of Wildin' Out and everything and all that. And then so uh he started just opening his mouth and doing these interviews where I don't like black women and giving his opinion. And I'm like, oh gosh, he just, he just like really did it for me. He's back on television uh, with Viacom. They worked something out. But yes, so y'all, I don't know where my camera cut off at, but I did get some hair from Hair Stop and Shop. It was $20.95. Her name is Celine. I had the packaging. I was holding up the packaging, talking about how beautiful the model was on the... I like all of that just kind of went down the drain. So I'm just going to try to pick it up from here. Her name is Celine. She's $20.95. I got her from Hair Stop and Shop. Um, but this hair is beautiful. The color is, the color is Flamboyage. Uh, Y'all, I threw all my stuff. Flamboyage Mocha. Right here. It's kind of bright. But I was complimenting the model, how beautiful she was. The hair goes with her. So, yeah. So, I wanted to try this for you guys. And she has a bang. Um, I usually don't do hair with bangs. But this is something that I wanted to try. Something different. It has two clips here in the front. Um, I already had adjusted it, before. so I am going to try her on, and I'm going to continue with my celebrity tea, okay? Um, yeah, so Nick Cannon is doing that. Carrie Hilson is making a comeback um, from her music career. Y'all know she had that little uh, slowdown when she was supposed to be doing the national anthem at a football game or something like that. Things didn't go quite as planned because she had forgotten the words to the um to the anthem. And then after that, she just kind of didn't get booked and and you know things just kind of went downhill from there. I, I guess she went into hiding or no one wanted to book her because that was a big deal, you know and. And, you know, I'm sure it was quite embarrassing, but there are other people in Hollywood that do other things that are even more embarrassing. So, in my opinion, there was no need for her, if she could have helped it, for her to even disappear off the face of the planet. But she's making a comeback, a strong comeback, and y'all, she is beautiful as ever. You know, um, Carrie Hilson, she's just always been just photogenic and and she just looks like such a a sweetheart like she just looks like she if you walked up to her and she was having a bad day and you wanted um an autograph she just looks like she would put the bad day to the side and to make your day like she would just give you a fake hug and a smile and just make your day like she just seems so 
so uh, genuine and just nice. Some people just have that aura about them, and she's just one of them. So I'm going to try this wig on. Um, she is... I saw Carrie Hilson. What is she doing? Oh, she's going to be on a show. So I guess she's going from music to acting. And like I said, she's so beautiful. I think that is a great transition for her. Even though she made great music, you know, when she did, um, she was beautiful in the videos. I know she did a video with T.I., um, but she, she will not have any problem at all making a comeback. She's absolutely gorgeous and she just has uh seems like she has a great attitude i have haven't heard anyone complain about her being a horrible person so shout out to carrie hilson i wish you good luck on your future endeavors and you shouldn't have disappeared in the first place okay we love you just because you forgot a few lyrics it's, it's not the end of the world shoot there's people out there doing worse of things like uh making children with women they know they don't want to be with we ain't gonna say no names but yeah yeah she shouldn't have went anywhere okay so that's um about carrie hilson keisha cole guys is retiring um she is going to do her eighth album and she announced on twitter that she is going to retire um, that's all she really said on Twitter, but, uh, there was something about, there was a Keisha Cole and K. Michelle beef that was also squashed on some type of platform and they were, um, talking amongst each other and someone had, you know, brought up the, the question about the beef. I never knew about this, guys. I guess I was under a rock, but apparently, um, fans had sparked up a beef with K. Michelle and um, Keisha Cole with their music. They were just doing comparisons with their music and it just kind of sparked up a, a, a beef between the two ladies. Major Shade would be thrown and you know, that's, that's how that got started. Y'all, this hair is really pretty. I purposely picked out these colors because I wanted something different. Just check that out in the back. I mean, she's she's gorgeous. I don't want to brush out the curls because I feel like the curls is what makes the hair. But it's absolutely gorgeous. This is everything. This is cute. It's like Farrah Fawcett in the front. But I don't know who this could be in the back. So, yeah. But it's very pretty. I think it goes great with my face. I love the color. Loving the blonde bangs. I like the way it curls in the front. I'm I'm just liking it. Y'all, the hair is light. Um, I'm not, I'm not brushing it. I'm not combing it because she's a 60 second hairstyle, literally. I'm, I'm just gonna finger comb her a little. Um, but even if you wanna, if, even if you, oh, she's so soft. Even if you don't wanna do that, Look at that with the finger comb. I mean, that's that's beautiful. Um, and I got this off the clearance. I, I you know, guys, y'all know I don't pay a lot of money for hair. I like doing like clearance. I like bringing you um guys stuff that's you know on sale um, because you don't have to spend an arm and a leg, ladies and gentlemen to look good you can shop on the clearance you can get things that are marked down and still look like a million bucks no one needs to know how much you you pay twenty dollars and 95 cents for this hair it's none of their business all they really need to be worried about is you showed up to work i can't tell you but i live in, in texas um and you know summer's coming and the humidity is something very dangerous but Dangerous or not, your girl's rocking this hair. I love it. Um, it says 60 second hairstyle. All I had to do was just kind of do a little something with the bang and that's it. And Megan Thee Stallion uh, was trying to holler at Young Miami. Um, Megan had, they said was a playful 
um, flirt with Young Miami, and Young Miami responded right away with, hey, let's make it happen. Uh, but unfortunately, the two women are dating um, guys right now. So, but honestly, I don't think their guys would mind if they started dating. Sometimes men would prefer for their women to date other women other than guys. For some reason, guys feel like when a woman is with another woman, it's not cheating or they don't feel threatened. Um, but when it's with another man, it's like the whole world comes crumbling down. So, hey, if their guys are cool with it, I don't see anything wrong with it. They're both beautiful. They're both young and they're both rich. And yeah, if I had an opportunity, I would get a scoop or two of that. So we're just going to cut it there. Um, Lil Mama. Lil Mama lip gloss. You know, lip gloss. Uh, so back in 2009, Jay-Z and Alicia Keys was uh, doing a performance, uh, Empire State of Mind. Lil Mama was just so intrigued and, and just, you know, the music was just going through her soul. Apparently she jumped on stage with the two of them was a, a VM, at the VMA Awards. They did Empire State of Mind, Alicia Keys and Jay-Z. Um, and she said that she has been apologizing to the both of them since 2009. Um, and they have not um, like returned her phone calls, her emails, her texts, the flowers, the candy, anything like that. It's just been utter silence. Now, Jay-Z and Alicia both have commented on the incident that happened in 2009, but it was probably back in 2009 when it happened. They were at separate interviews. And Jay-Z said, um, with all the planning that went into the performance and for her to disrupt it, it was totally out of line. And Alicia Keys, um, she was more positive about the thing. She said that, you know, if, if she felt it in her heart and soul, you know, hey, she felt it in her heart and soul, but I don't think that was the right time in the moment. And she should have felt it in her heart and soul from her seat. Shade. Okay, so, um, you know, and little mama went on about, you know, she was a teenager, this, this, and that. And, you know, they were stars. And she was, you know, wasn't raised, you know, with a silver spoon. So just being at the performance all together just kind of did something to her and she uh, feels bad about it and she's been apologizing, but you know, you know, I did a video about um, apologies and you know, different day life. You know, apologize once, little mama, okay? If you're watching this, apologize once. Look, boo, if they don't wanna accept your apology, shame on them, shame on them. We know you were the bigger person you were, you were young. You were a kid. Like you said, you did it. They spoke on it. And let me tell you something. Jay-Z probably ain't even worried about you or apology. It's water under the bridge. If those two have not addressed the issue since 2009, we are in 2021. They have so much other stuff going on than what you did in the VMAs, jumping on stage, acting a, a fool or whatever it was you were doing. They're not worried about that. You were forgiven back in 2009. So just let it go. Stop apologizing and move forward. Um, and Lil Mama was saying that she plans to start a heterosexual rights movement, movement against bullying from queer people. And I know y'all know about the Virginia cop who pepper sprayed the U.S. Army's second lieutenant. Kiron Nazario, the black Latino, um, the Virginia cop was fired um, for doing what he did. Apparently, um, Nazario was pulled over. He was in a brand new truck. He had paper tags. His, his windows were tinted, um, so he didn't have a license plate on the back because that's what they're saying they, were, they pulled him over for. But the paper tag was in the back window of the truck. But because the windows were tinted, I guess they didn't see it. Now, you know, the guy, you know, with the words that were exchanged and, you know, the air was just kind of not in the, in the right, you know, temperature at that time. Um, he would, kept saying that he didn't feel comfortable. He didn't feel comfortable. 
So um, he kept saying over and over he was afraid. And he ended up being pepper sprayed and being thrown to the ground and just being mistreated. And and um, it was very unnecessary. This happened last year. And they're, I, I guess they're just now doing something about it now. So mm, I wonder why that took so long. But uh, yeah, so that is what I have with Celebrity Tea. Guys, will I get more? Y'all know, because I'm nosy. Oh, 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 our Gorilla Glue Girl. Our Gorilla Glue Girl is pregnant. Y'all probably know this already. I follow her on Instagram. Y'all know I'm nosy. I'm all up in her stuff. Uh, she's pregnant, and she looks great. She's gained a little bit of pregnancy weight, and she has curves. She looks really good. She looks really happy. She's always wearing different hair. She has uh, wigs. She has long wigs that she's been wearing. She does the TikToks with the dances, and she just looks so happy. She's glowing, um, and I love the fact that she's just staying, you know, in the limelight after everything that happened. You know, she... You know, she was embarrassed and, and people, you know, had judgment on her. But, you know, I said from, well, no, I didn't. I, I thought it was a scam. But after getting to know her on Instagram and everything, and even before, you know, she had the surgery, I had decided in my mind because I saw that she was, you know, really good with the youth and she had a passion for her children. She just seemed like an overall good person um, that... You know, she is a good person. She donated all that GoFundMe money. Um, and she looks fabulous. So good luck to her with her new bundle of joy. I don't know when she's due, but I'll find out. Let me know how you feel about the hair. I'm loving it. Um, too bad it's nighttime and I have nowhere to go. But I will rock her tomorrow on these streets of Houston. So thanks for joining me tonight. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for all the love that I received when I was ill. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode.